sponsored by the Jefferson City Art Club. I'm your host, Rick Jay, with a very special guest today, Mr. Jimmy Mustian, an artist uh, from the Jefferson City Art Club, member, volunteer, and a spokesperson from the Publicity and Promotions uh, Committee. Jimmy, I understand you have a, a lot to share. I want to welcome you first, though, and say, I do know you have a lot to share with us. Well, uh, uh, tell us all about it. Well, thank you, Rick. And first up, I want to be sure and let everybody know that 2016, we're celebrating our 113th year. We've been a club oh. since 1903. Now, our, we're getting ready to have one of our big bash special events that we have every year. We're going to have what we call the, the fling. It's going to be um, a big banquet where um, everyone comes to and brings potluck dinner. We have a nice bar. We have um, people coming for with their art and with their friends and family. We're going to have people who are chosen um, out of a bowl uh, to, sh to show and explain things about their art. We're going to have door prizes and the, the Last door prize of the, of the night is going to be a $25 membership for 2017. Now, they must be there to get the prizes. It's going to be on November 4th. It's going to be at the Hawthorne Bank Special Events Center on Amazonas Boulevard. It's going to be from 7 to 9. Sounds exciting. So that's November 4th at Amazonas, across from the bank there on right from Truman Boulevard. Well, that sounds great. I, I'm planning on attending myself. Uh, well, tell us a little bit about the history of the Jefferson <coughs> City Art Club. Well, I tell you what, it was formed in 1903 by a group of ladies who had shown an interest in art and had decided that what they would do would be have meetings every month and they would have presenters and they would, they would have a time where they could discuss different artists and different types of art that was becoming popular at the time. Now, a group of them went to the World's Fair in St. Louis in 1904 and they were inspired by the architecture and the art they saw there. And they thought, okay, well, we need to inform the people in our area of all the new kinds of art that people are sharing. Um, and it started mostly as a ladies tea party where they just had people come and show their art and explain, maybe give a demonstration of their art. It grew into a group of women who went into the local elementary schools, started teaching art classes for free because they saw a need for that in the, our community and there weren't any organized um, art programs in any of the schools in Missouri at the time. Now, these days, it consists of a very diversified group of artists. We have artists of all kinds, uh, phot uh, photographers, painters, people who make fabric and dye fabric, um, people who are sculptors, people who work with glass. Um, just about any type of art that you can come up with. We have many people who have retired from teaching school, teaching art, and have started into a whole new career of art after they've retired. And um, we have a nice group of people. We still have monthly meetings. And um, it has grown into a very diversified group of people now. Well, it sounds very exciting. Uh... Uh, from 1903 to current day, 113th year, is, is really, um, really impressive. I, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the history uh, um, connected with what 
people always look for is a mission statement. What our, is the real mission of the Jefferson City Art Club? Over the years, our mission statement has been we're dedicated to the study and the fostering of art appreciation in the Jefferson City community. Now, um, this involves interacting with the schools on different levels and interacting with other civic groups and other art groups in the Jefferson City area. Oh, great. That's a, that's a good segue right into my next question, Jimmy. Um, can you give us an idea of the projects that are annually uh, sponsored by the Jefferson City Art Club? Well, I tell you what, we just got finished with our adult professional art show in the fall and it was one of the best ones we've had. We have each show we have, we end up with more artists and better art each time, more pieces and more um, different types. And um, we, we give out prizes for each category, first, second, and third. And, um, and fourth, honorable mention, which I've received twice. Um, which was a very a big honor for me because um, they're judged by someone from outside of our area, an art expert, and so you just never know what they're going to be looking for. And somehow or another, a couple of times they picked me. Excellent. Well, now I understand that there's a, a nice program involving the youth of the community and the surrounding areas. In fact, and uh, can you tell us a little bit about the uh, the programs involving youth at, uh, in the area. All right, um, our next event is going to be the Ruth Hogan's Children's Art Exhibit. Mm -hmm. Now, um, this will include children from all of the elementary schools and middle schools, grade one through eight. We usually come up with approximately three to 400 pieces, which are all brought to the Capitol Mall in Jefferson City, Missouri and put on display in the month of May, and usually is up for approximately six weeks. Now, um, if, when the pieces are turned in, they are all um, arranged according to grade level or level of, of, of um, ability, and so that it's, um, you get a really good idea of what's happening in the, the art programs in the schools. I see. Now, uh, last year I, I reviewed I, I viewed that uh, uh, in March. Now they're moving it up to May, as you said. Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to be in March. It is going to be in March. Well, super. Then uh, we'll look for that in March 17th at the Capitol Mall, the Ruth Hogan Children Exhibit. That sounds great. Well, now you also have a, an adult fine artist exhibit. Uh, uh, going on at the same time, uh, generally? That'll be next March also? Yes, now our, our Jefferson City Art Club Adult Fine Arts Exhibit will go on display on March the 10th and run until April the 30th. We'll have a reception on April the 7th. It will consist of amateur and professional artists. Professional artists consist of people who went to art school, people who have taught art people whose profession involves a type of art and people who strictly make their living off of art. Now, we will be judged by an out of town art professional person and then there will be first, second and third and fourth honorable mention prizes in each category. Plus there will be a cash prize for best in show and um, we will have a guest speaker who will speak about the type of art they do, and then we will have a short talk by the person who has won Best in Show. Now, we always have a lavish spread and wine bar and lots of fun at our events, live music, and everyone has a good time. Well, that sounds great also, my. Well, you mentioned the um, youth uh, elementary levels up to middle school. Now, do you have anything uh, in, uh, during the uh, program year for the higher level of education, like high school or college, et cetera? Well, I tell you what, on May the 3rd, we're having the 70th annual high school sketch day. Now oh. this involves all the local high school, Lighthouse Academy, J Jefferson City Academic Center, Calvary Lutheran, Helias, and Simonson School. And um, 
children whose school art program is not participating, they can still go online and get an application, fill it in and turn it out and participate. Now, we meet around 11 o'clock in the morning on May the 3rd, where kids will get their paper and their drawing boards and get the assignments. There will be a list of historic sites that if the ch children choose to, they can draw or paint one of these uh, historic sites and enter into the Historic Societies competition. Now, the Jefferson City Art Club will have first, second, and third prize ribbons, and Historic Society will have a cash prize for the best historic site picture. Now, the picture will be used on the cover of the Jefferson City Art Club phone book for next year, and the picture that wins in Historic Society will be hung in a prominent place in the city for people to view for this next year. Well, what a complex uh, program uh, schedule you have. It sounds really interesting and, and really open to the public to view it at any time. Um, my, the high school sketch day, that uh, makes me want to uh, get involved in that also. Um, well, now that you say um, this lasts from up until about May, uh, I understand that the organization, the club, takes a break during the summer. Can you, uh, from your monthly meetings and from your program format, can you give us a little information on just how that happens and the time frame? Well, Jenny? I tell you what, we have monthly meetings on the third Monday of each month between September and May. In oh, September, we have a carry-in dinner. In November, we have a fling. And in May, we have a carry-in dinner. At each of our events that are happening like that, people can bring their art that they're working on or completed pieces and show, and can, people can communicate about what they're doing. And it's very nice to see what everybody's working on. Excellent, excellent. So you have the fling that we'll be looking for, uh, not only this fall in 2017, but also, uh, or uh, this fall in 2016, but you'll be planning, I guess, for the next fling in 2017. <laughs> now, I want to bring some things out about our monthly meetings. Oh, sure. Okay, we meet every third Monday uh, um, of the month, between September and May. We meet at the Community Christian Church Special Events Room, on 409 Ellis Boulevard in Jefferson City, Missouri, we meet between 5.30 and 7.30. We have a presenter each time who demonstrates their art. Some of them demonstrate how they make their art. We have a refreshment time, then we have a short business meeting. Sounds great. After the break, learn more about uh, how Jimmy Mustin became interested in art and how he arrives at, should we say, a theme or subject matter uh, uh, to start his uh, project, his next project. G morning, sunshine. Wakey, wakey. Text me. I think it might be one of the Are your parents home later? We can hang. LUV, love you. JK. Holla back. Holla back. Holla back. <laughs> Are you with your friends? That's lame. We're in a huge fight right now. XO. What'd you dream of? Something I did. Are you on your way to the mall? I'm lonely. Nude pics. Send me some. Text me. The mission of the Special Learning Center is to provide comprehensive early intervention services to children with special needs so they may attain their maximum potential. You can find our website at www.speciallearningcenter.com for current activities. And we're also on Facebook under the Special Learning Center. We try to be a resource for people with disabilities in our community. If you have questions or a need, call us at 634-3070. <laughs> Laughing Baby, brought to you by Children's Trust Fund of Missouri. Strong families, safe kids. Welcome back to Mid-America, Mid-Missouri Art News, uh, sponsored by the Jefferson City Art Club. Your host, Rick Jay, with a special guest, Jimmy Mustian, uh, continuing here. Jimmy, I'd like to ask you, as a, an honest question, how did you ever become interested in art? 
Well, I tell you what, I was interested in art as, even as a child. My mom encouraged all of us to draw and to paint. My mother could make patterns for clothes just by measuring you and sew them up. Um, so she taught us a lot of different creative things. Um, I really admired my teachers in the public schools. They let me do a lot of things that, um, were, that they, I saw other people in the world doing that were a little bit different than what they usually were teaching in the art programs in high school. Now, I did not go directly into college, but um, in my mid-30s, I went back to college. I started at Mizzou, but then I transferred to Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville, Illinois where I studied arts and sciences, and I got a four-year degree in arts and sciences, majoring in photography and graphic design. Now, during this time, I studied art history, ceramics, glass making, fabric making, fabric dyeing, life drawing, cartoon drawing, silkscreen printing, lithograph, all kinds of painting, oil painting, acrylic painting, watercolor photography of every kind, and graphic design. Um, after I became disabled, I had a job for the Illinois Main Street program at the Alton Marketplace in Alton, Illinois, where I got to apply some of my uh, things I'd learned in college. I was involved in promotion of special events and organizing special events, and I had a newsletter every month for six years. Now. In recent years, I have started doing a lot different art than I was doing back in college. For one, I do cartoon art now. And um, although I did not think I would be very good at it, I actually picked it up real easy. And it, it's very easy for me to come up with new characters for each comic strip. My son, Jimmy Mustin Jr., mm -hmm. um, Come, he writes children's stories, and so um, I do mock-ups of the pages for his stories. Um, we haven't been published yet, but that doesn't stop us from working on them. Um, now, I've done lots of different kind of photography, and I'm just now getting to make them into posters that I can display at art events, which um, it's much more striking than just a simple snapshot or a photograph. Now, I've been showing around town Capital Arts Gallery at 1203 Missouri Boulevard in Jefferson City, Missouri. Is I primarily show there all year round except for their Christmas show. I don't necessarily do Christmas art. I um, have two shows coming up that I would like to mention. On January 6th, the art by women, for women, and about women is coming up. And I'm going to have eight large posters of my muse, Connie McKenzie. Um, she has helped me with my art, and we've done art, different types of art photography over the years. And I, they're going to give me a format to display some of this. And hopefully, Connie McKenzie will be there to talk about some of the projects we did. Now, I'm going to be involved in another show called As You Are, which is going to highlight um, people with disabilities and um, all different types of learning disabilities and physical disabilities. And um, this will be done by artists with physical disabilities, such as myself, and anyone who has art that involves someone with disability. Well, that's an impressive background and education and um, putting your practicality to, to use. It's really impressive and it's, um, I hope our viewers will use that as an inspiration um, to go forward with their own uh, love of art. Well, and that word inspiration, how has the Jefferson City Art Club if, in, in case someone might want to join and, and come to the meetings, even if they don't, uh, uh, they're, if they're even not an artist, how, will you, how, how does the, how has the Jefferson City Art Club inspired you, Jimmy? Well, I tell you what, um, in the last three years, um, we have 
added on lots of different types of artists that have come to our group because some of them business people who have brought their silk screening or photography or printing businesses to Jefferson City and that has involved our shows with lots more different types of art and um, they have allowed me to have a format to present my art to the public here in Jefferson City and have special events that are organized. They have themes so that um, I can demonstrate that my art works well when, when it is given a theme to work with. Well, what are some of these themes that you've been involved in? Uh, uh, you're speaking of Capital Arts on Missouri Boulevard, who where is, is one of the nicest venues and well displayed. I've uh, been there many times to view the art, and it's so well displayed, uh, very professional. And so, and give us an idea of what uh, theme that you've uh, basically incorporated your work into. Oh, I tell you what, in this last couple of years, I have started doing paintings with glitter that involve people and situations that have happened in my life. Mm -hmm. And some of them tragic, and I have tried to portray them in um, my vision of something positive coming out of the tragedy. Of course, you, my pictures don't look tragic, <laughs> but um, there, um, I am inspired by people that I've known over the years and the situations that I have found them in and how they've handled those situations. And some of those pieces will be uh, uh, here presented within our uh, uh, Mid-Missouri Art News today. Uh, I know that uh, for a fact the word is that on the streets <laughs> uh, that you're called the Glitter Man. So I would like the uh, viewers to really check into that. And next time you're on the street at one of these shows, come out and really take a look at some of uh, Jimmy's work. Uh, it's very impressive. It's enlightening. And every piece has, a, like you say, a story behind it. And um, you, a lot of times, will be on, on location where you can share those stories to those viewers that, that take a look. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to tell people, don't forget the fling, November 4th. Next year, we will have another fling. And um, we'll have different presenters. There'll be different prizes and probably new members. And I tell you what, this last year after High School Sketch Day, we had several students, seniors in high school, start to come to our meeting with their, with their parents, which is it's very good because they're getting ready to get out into the community. And um, I think it's good for them after they graduate from high school to already have a base of knowledge of what local artists are doing who they are, where they can be found, and what events you can become involved in. Now, um, I tell you what, if you would like to contact us and find out if any information about our meetings, our club, or our events, you can go to www.jeffersoncityartclub-missouri.com. The words are spelled out in lowercase, or you can like us on Facebook at, at Jefferson City Art Club. Super, super. Also, uh, for more information, I can give you a phone number, area code 573-645-4507. We'll be glad to answer any question you may have and hopefully inspire you. Well, this has been uh, Mid-Missouri Art News, sponsored by the Jefferson City Art Club your host, Rick J. And uh, I want to thank Jimmy Mustian for being our guest today on behalf of the Jefferson City Art Club. So look for more Mid-Missouri Art News right here on JCTV and YouTube. Mm -hmm.